Well, many of us know the function of our kidneys, right? They filter waste from our blood. Well, you might be surprised to hear that 26 million Americans have chronic kidney disease. In fact, right here in Connecticut, over 3,000 people are on dialysis. Well, screenings have become a priority to beat this disease, and there's an organization pushing to make screenings available to everyone through an organization, or rather a clinic, called KEEP, and that's Kidney Early Evaluation Program. And here to share more about the program, we have the Regional Program Manager for the National Kidney Foundation. Marsha Hilditch, welcome to the show. Great Thank to have so you. Thank you so much for having us, Desiree. Marsha, the numbers are staggering. 26 million Americans mm -hmm. yes, and with growing, CKD. And growing. Why are we seeing that spike? Well, I really think that one reason is that more people are being tested, and I'd like to think that's because of our program, um, when, because it is a disease that can easily go undetected. When you say CKD, chronic kidney disease, what does that really mean? Well, that's when the kidneys begin to fail. Mm -hmm. um, some of the warning signs are puffiness around the eyes, uh, bloating of the hands and, and feet, also pain in your back, just in the middle of your, um, on each side of your back. Mm -hmm. um, that's where the kidneys are. And that, um, if that pain is not from lifting or exercising and is sort of chronic, then you really need to go to your doctor or come to one of our screenings. Marcia, what puts you in the high risk category? If you have diabetes or high blood pressure, mm -hmm. or a family history of diabetes or high blood pressure or kidney disease, that puts you in the high risk uh, population. In Connecticut alone, I know the numbers say that over a thousand Connecticut residents are waiting for a kidney transplant? Correct, correct. And 83,000 in the United States are waiting for a kidney. Wow. Let's talk about KEEP. Let's talk okay. about this wonderful clinic that you offer. How did it evolve? Um, it's been in, uh, it got launched in 2000. Uh, we have done, in Connecticut, we have done 114 screenings. Let's talk about these pictures. I know you brought some oh, okay. with you. Let's look at those. Yes, this is uh, two of our volunteers doing the urinalysis part of our screening. And that is, those are our volunteers doing a glucose, a finger stick. Okay. And uh, those are two of our volunteers doing a blood pressure screening. And this is what goes on at the KEEP screening. Correct. Correct. Okay. And also we draw blood for serum creatinine that tells us how the blood is flowing through the kidneys, hemoglobin, and cholesterol. Wow. So, and then at the end of the screening, everyone sees a doctor or a PA. They go over the results from that day. Now, the blood work, the blood that we draw, gets sent to a lab. Okay. Those results get sent to the participant in approximately four to six weeks. But that day, they'll know what their urinalysis was, their blood pressure, their glucose. Mm -hmm. And we actually often identify people who, have, who didn't realize they had diabetes or high blood pressure. And what's great about this, Marsha, I think, is that you have this event and it's, and it's free to everybody. You're doing anywhere from what you said, 12 to 15 screenings a year. Correct. And you're Correct. offering, and, and not necessarily targeting, but you are offering it to people who don't have health care. Correct. This is one of the, the main, uh, when I go and look for places to hold these, uh, it's in areas where we have populations that don't have insurance or are underinsured, and of course that's becoming more and more prevalent. Okay, so I want to know, I know you mentioned that you, you send the blood away for four to five weeks. Right. Okay, so what happens? Someone's going to watch today and say, okay, you send it back to me and, and I have kidney disease. I don't have health insurance. What are my options? Well, one of the things we always do at the screenings is we give them a list of local clinics okay. so that they can contact the clinics. We also, as I say, we have physicians on site talking to people. And I've had instances where those physicians have offered to, you know, have the participant come and, and they would see them. So, um, you know, we don't just throw them away after we see them. Um, we do do follow-up. Our national organization follows up with people who test positive for some of the risk factors. Awesome. And, you know, they send out letters. They actually make phone calls at times. And then now we have what we call a longitudinal study. So every year when we're going back to another keep mm -hmm. in, an, in the same area, our national office contacts the people who went through the keep a year ago and invites them back. That is amazing. Let's put the information on the screen because That's this wonderful. screening is happening on World Kidney, Kidney Day. Day. Yes, Yay. it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Tell us, it's going to be at Bella Vista Correct. in New Haven. Correct. And you say come out March 11, folks. It's 9 a.m. to 2.30. It's 1-800-441-1280, extension 17. And if you miss that, if you come to our website, WTNH.com, click on Connecticut Style, that number is a number to Marsha, and you'll talk with her directly, everybody.
Yes, you will. Well, kidney day. Come get your kidneys tested and spread the word. Definitely. That's what we need to do. Marsha, thank you so much for being thank here. We appreciate it. Thank you so much it. for having me. Stick around. He's got some great treats for us in the kitchen. <laughs> I know. I can't time, wait. <laughs> don't go anywhere. We've got exciting news from Executive Auto Group and Connecticut Style Returns, everybody. Stick around.